What's up, gang? Well, it's officially Halloween season, and as a lot of you guys know, we absolutely love Halloween here at Skunk Works. It's one of the few seasons we absolutely look forward to, we prepare for it, and we embrace it. So we're going to do um, some videos this month, hopefully starting off with this one here. I'm going to be restoring these three uh, pumpkin skull lanterns, and I've also got this uh, Frankenstein styrofoam head uh, from Joanne Fabrics that I plan on doing uh, just a paint scheme on. We'll use it for something. I'm not sure what yet. So anyway, to start off, these three pumpkin lanterns I got at Joanne Fabrics probably back in the probably early 90s, I would imagine. Um, they're terracotta. They've been in our family for a long, long time. Um, I put them out every year, but they've recently fallen into a little bit of disrepair. Uh, they've got some damage, some cracking. You can see they hold a candle on the inside here. Um, and we need to fix those. We've had one that was already damaged and glue, glue, uh, sorry, glued back together. So we just need to do some restoration on these. So the plan is to go ahead and clean them all up. Take some uh, mill putt, epoxy, fix the damaged cracked portions, and then kind of reinforce these areas that have been already glued. And then we're going to paint them and detail them. They're not going to look terracotta anymore. They're going to be almost like a bone white, and I'll paint the candles as well. So that seems to be the, the battle plan for these. And of course, the Frankenstein, like I mentioned, we're going to just get some craft paint and paint him up as well so uh we'll go ahead and we'll pause the video and we'll come back and we'll talk about these uh skull lanterns all right welcome back guys so let's talk about these uh vintage i believe they're spooky hollow terracotta skulls so like i said these are pretty old and they've had a lot of action over the last several years uh, we've got some damaged ones this first skull here is fine. Uh, there's no damage to him, so uh, we'll just clean him off and uh, paint him. Uh, this skull here has some significant uh, damage to these. Looks like a, what these used to look like, these little holes. Uh, a lot of damage to that one, so what we'll do is we'll clean this whole thing off, rub some glue on there, and then we'll use mill putt, and we'll re-sculpt this out and get it looking good. Uh, same on this side as well. We'll fix it. We do have cracking right here And what I plan on doing is getting some tissue paper and some Gorilla Glue clear and Putting the tissue paper and the Gorilla Glue clear on there to give it a little structural integrity where those cracks are uh, So that's why how I'm gonna address this school. This one here has had a fix similar to that But uh, we'll sand that off a little bit and do the same thing uh, tissue paper and Gorilla Glue all over these cracked areas and then when we're done with that we'll go ahead and we'll prime and paint these skulls um, the Frankenstein head on the other hand my son decided to poke some holes in it we'll fill those holes with caulk then we'll give this thing a coat of kills prime uh, probably the fungus resistant prime since it's going to be outside quite a bit during Halloween and then we'll start the process of painting that. I do also have a couple funkins I might get to in this video. Um, I've kind of toyed around with putting faces on them but I haven't really figured out what I want to do with them yet so uh, we'll see how that pans out. So we'll pause the video and come back and take a look at these uh, skulls with some completed repairs. All right welcome back guys. So Went ahead and primed a couple of these uh, skulls that I already had completed. The glue's all cured. And I went ahead and uh, fixed the broken portions of this skull with some mill putt. It's currently setting up. I'll clean all that off and uh, give this coat of prime as well. But now we've got a nice skull here that won't, I won't have to worry about falling off and busting into a million pieces. So that's where we're at right now on these skulls. So while we let this cure, we're going to take our uh, Frankenstein head and we're going to prime it and begin the process of painting this thing and detailing it. So we'll be back in a bit. All right, welcome back, guys. So we'll put this 
mummy I made off to the side for another project. So you can see I've went ahead and started the process of painting these skulls. So um, I just use basic craft paint you can get anywhere. Um, I went ahead and primed them with a gray primer. You can see the top of the flame here. And then I coated them first with this buttercream color to kind of give a light base. And then I followed up with some linen. And then I had, let me find this over here. I did some staining of a outdoor piece of wood last year. And I bought this Arbor Coat from Benjamin Moore. It's a semi-transparent stain and a dark brown and what i do is i just go ahead and brush it all over the skull and then wipe it off with a rag to give it a weathered look then i just went ahead and finished up the flame so this skull here is basically finished um, you can see i think i like the way it turned out there's a nice creepy weathered finish i'll do the other two like that as well and then, of course, uh, Frankenstein, I'm almost done priming his face. And then we'll talk about the paint scheme for Frankenstein. And then hopefully we'll get to these two pumpkins. But anyway, this is the skull. This is what the finished product's going to be, what it's going to look like. I really like the way it turned out. So then we'll get these all done and we'll seal them up with uh, a sealer of some type. And then we'll keep moving on down the line. All right, welcome back, guys. So started painting Frankenstein's face. Now, I usually just do like a base coat of a green and then I darken it up with other greens and the eyes and the mouth and just kind of blend everything. So you can see right now, um, the head looks almost done. I've got detail work to do as far as the eyes and some other uh, detail around the, the bolts and whatnot. But the head, other than the hair, is almost finished up. Now with the hair, I'll paint it black and then go on and dry brush a, uh, a, a green on it to give it some highlights. But uh, yeah, the head, the head of this Frankenstein is almost completely done. I love these styrofoam um, heads because they're very versatile. You can do a lot of stuff with them. In fact, I went to Joanne Fabrics yesterday. They had a 50% off sale and I bought me some skulls and this brand new zombie head, which if you're familiar with my zombie stuff from uh, last year's Halloween video, uh, this is a little bit different than that last year's Halloween zombie head. So it's cool. I look forward to doing this one as well. And then I started working on this pumpkin. Now I'm going to try to make it kind of like the Sam Hain from Ghostbusters, the cartoon back in the 80s. So we'll come back and we'll talk about how we're going to do this pumpkin because I've got kind of an idea right now. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So we can see Frankenstein is basically done. Uh, I've got some dry brushing to do on the hair, but the eyes and the face and the bolts are all finished up. So he's he turned out great. I think the colors really pop with him. Started working on the Sam Hain. Got the eyes cut out, really easy to do. You can just do it with an X-Acto knife. And I took a Dremel with a sanding tip and just sanded off a little bit of the orange. So I'll do the same thing on the bottom here. And then we'll uh, get to work on the mill putt to go around the exterior of the mouth and the nose and the uh, eyes. And we'll uh, also at the same time sculpt some teeth out of Sculpey for it. So that's what's going on with this right now. So when we, get, we come back, we should have the mill putt applied to the pumpkin. All right guys, welcome back. So we're working on the jack-o'-lantern right now. So the next step with this is I need to get some mill putt and build out the eyes and build out around the mouth. So we'll go get some mill putt at Hobby Lobby and get to work on that. In the meantime, we'll also work on the teeth. And then when we're done, we're going to give this whole school a coat of prime. And then we're going to paint it and weather it with this acrylic uh, pumpkin paint. In the meantime, I've got some other things I've added. So I went to uh, Joanne Fabrics and got some of these skull hands. They were 50% off, so I got them really cheap. And what I plan on doing is drilling a hole in the ends of each of them and inserting a metal stake so we can stake them in the yard up like this. And then I also got these skulls. We'll go ahead and get them primed and painted as well as this new style zombie head. Uh, this Frankenstein is completely done. I just need to put a coat of sealant on it, coat of Mod Podge. Uh, you can see I've 
dry brush the hair so Frankenstein's head is completely finished so we'll come back and maybe we'll have some more of this uh, finished up we can look at look at some progress all right gang welcome back so you can see I've got the pumpkin painted I primed it started to do the finishing paint on it um, I used caulk instead of mill putt around the eyes and the mouth get a, kind of a, a regular look which I don't mind um, it looks pretty cool I uh, can't wait to see what happens when I get these Sculpey and I'll do the teeth and bake them and then I'll hot glue them on there and then I'll finish the painting of the pumpkin. Uh, I planned on doing these skulls and this zombie head, but we'll see. I don't think I'm going to get to that maybe with this video. I've had some health issues lately, so I'm a little bit behind schedule on some things I wanted to do. But anyways... I also apologize for kind of the time jump on this. Kind of wanted to show you a little more detailed view of it. But again, things outside of my control have permitted, prevented me from doing that. So we'll pause the video. We'll come back and we'll take a look at what this thing looks like all painted up and finished. All right, welcome back, guys. So here is the finished Sam Hain head. Almost finished. We uh, this is kind of like a part one. What we'll end up doing is this is going to become a larger prop probably for next Halloween. Considering I had some health issues recently, I'm not going to be able to really get to a lot of the things I wanted to finish. So this is the head uh, right now. You can see I did the polyclay teeth and I kind of did some singe marks from flames on the face. So it turned out really well. I like the way that looks. I went ahead and finished this zombie head. Um, I'm going to put that in the front yard. With the rest of my Halloween props, I got a few much few more touch-up paint to do on it, and then seal it, and then obviously Frankenstein's all finished. So <clears throat> we'll pause the video. We'll go outside and take a look at my Halloween setup, and this will wrap my Halloween video. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, I apologize for the low quality of the whole video. I really meant to do something a lot bigger, but like I said, I ran into some health issues, and I wasn't able to really finish this the way I wanted it to. But I'm still going to put it out there because. It's just the type of dude I am. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. And more importantly, hit the like button because liking uh, my videos helps my videos get out more and I get more subscribers. And I really want to grow the channel. So I uh, really appreciate it. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Halloween video. And in the meantime, keep living the adventure and cheers. Bye.